Shelby. I only gave the opium to your brother because he gave me big trouble. He attacked my wife. I'd like a pot of green tea, please. <clears throat> it's taken me 10 years to build this business. Business will be safe if you do what I say. How much opium do you have in your cellar? Five pounds. Bring it to me. Four minutes against the clock. As a member of parliament, for this constituency, it is my duty to take responsibility for the welfare of my Shelby, constituents. The clock is still ticking. Consumption of opium is very prejudicial to health. Women give it to their children so they can leave them untended while they work in the factories. Men lose their jobs when they become addicted. From now on, you will sell only cigarettes cake and tea. If I hear that you're selling opium again, time will indeed run out very quickly for you. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. I will stop. Mr. Shelby, the clock is still ticking. Please tell your suppliers and your customers that from now on, there will be no more Opium and small leaf. Born in Bordsley. Thank you for the tea. You tell? I'm sorry, but it's not Yes, sir, Mr. Shelby. You tell the pub and cafe owners on Montague Street, if there's any further trade in powder, there will be no more Montague Street. I'll have it demolished and replaced by apartments. By order of the Birmingham Urban District Council. <laughs> <laughs> 